Hey everyone, it's Katie with One Music School, and today I have a triple review of the new Sunstar models. So a uh, little disclaimer here, you're going to see lots and lots of clips from different videos because I've just had audio issues. You're going to see the unboxing. I'm just going to fast forward through it with no audio because the audio is completely destroyed. I'm also going to insert clips of me playing this instrument through a system and also out of a system so that you can get a good feel as to what they really sound like. These are the Solid Top Spruce. Solid Top Acacia and Solid Mahogany Concert Ukuleles from Sunstar, all equipped with a pickup. The Solid Top Spruce has laminated zebra wood sides, back, and veneer on the headstock, and the Solid Top Acacia has laminated acacia for the body. All ukuleles have a classical slotted headstock with the Sunstar logo. Each ukulele has high quality all metal tuners. They all have a mahogany neck, oxbow nut and saddle, faux ebony fretboard, walnut bridge, pin bridges for easier string changes, and all come strung with aquila strings. I've done several unboxings with Sunstar ukuleles and they are consistent in quality. And that can be really, really difficult to do, but because they are a smaller company, Jeff and Holly, they take care of these instruments personally. They make sure that they are set up well before they're shipped out and each one comes with a humalele and how to care for your instrument. So that's really, really comforting to know. They're also working closely with a luthier that's, that lives close in their area so that they are running by the design details and just other things uh, just making sure that it is the best that it can be. I have several unboxings of these ukuleles, so I'm going to leave that in the cards above the description box below so you can check it out. Side by side comparison. It's what you do to me. So I don't know if you can see. Yeah, there we go. I'm really excited. So this is my office. There we go. I'm going wireless. So it's really nice to have that extra freedom and not to be tethered by a cord. Um, I might see that Dia box right there. That's going to be for the uke. So I had rehearsal last night. I had the mahogany ukulele with me. I plugged it into the sound system and the pickup just wasn't strong enough to be able to pick up or to project the sound from that instrument to that large of a venue. And uh, I need a preamp in order to be able to really push that sound out. So if you are playing in a smaller venue, I think it's going to work great. If you're going to play in a bigger venue, you are going to need a preamp. Just be aware of that. So here are some frequently asked questions about pickups. One, I would say, number one, you have to love the instrument first. If you do not love the instrument and it has a pickup and you're just buying it because it has a pickup, 
you're you're gonna be disappointed. <laughs> you're not going to like the tone. You're not gonna like the way it feels. It, you're just gonna be overall disappointed. And then you're going to want to sell that one or give it away and then buy a different one. So first you have to love the instrument that it <laughs> that actually has the pickup. You have to love the sound, the feel, everything. Two, look for something that has, this is my personal preference, by the way. Look for something where you can actually adjust the tone. So the bass, the treble, and the volume. Right here, it has a chromatic tuner, which is really convenient. And it's powered by two button batteries. And so the console right here is really easy to take in and out. Sometimes I see pickups where you actually adjust the volume right here through the sound hole. It's a very clean look. That's, that's a plus because then you don't have like this sticking out right here where it screams, I am a pickup. Uh, but right here that you can adjust the volume that way. Personally, that is not my favorite. I like to be able to look at what I'm adjusting and to be able to adjust it on the fly. This way, it's just more convenient this way than through here. The jack is right here. It has not come loose at all within the months that I've had this. So that is something that I really enjoy. Something that you also have to note when you are playing with a pickup is that you unplug your instrument when you're done. If you, if you don't do that, you're actually draining the battery. But you're like, hey, Katie, the amp is off. Why would that drain the battery? Well, you're still activating the pickup. The battery is still active if you have something plugged in. So if you plug it in, you leave it plugged in, you're draining the battery and then you're not gonna be able to, oh, and then one day you're gonna plug in and you're actually gonna need your pickup to work and it's not going to work and the battery's gonna be dead. So just just be, be aware of that because uh, that's happened to me before. Last thing, do a little shake test. <laughs> so when you do the shake test, it's not like you're really shaking it, but just, you know, a little bit up and down, back and forth, just making sure that the wires are secure to the instrument so that they're not flapping around. Because if you're playing and you're moving around and the cables are loose, they will hit against the instrument and the pickup will pick that up. So you just have to be aware of that. So the one that I keep reaching for is this one. I love the mahogany. I just love the way it looks. I love the way it feels. Wow, guys, this smells <laughs> pretty amazing. It's awesome. Um, I, I do love the spruce and the acacia. I think that they play well. I think they're beautiful, but I think this is a beautiful marriage between the bright tone of the spruce and the depth of the acacia. I just, I overall love it. And I, I do love it for filming because it is a matte finish. I love, I love glossy finishes. I think those are gorgeous, but it's, it becomes pretty difficult when I'm filming because then it just makes weird ref reflections and, um, and whatnot. So I just love the way that this, you know, looks, it feels, it's great for filming. I love how simple the design is and, uh, but yet it's still very classy. It just feels like everything flows with the design. It doesn't feel like a Christmas tree where you add too many decorations. You know what I mean? Sunstar does ship internationally, but the shipping is going to vary depending upon where you live. It could be higher or lower, uh, just depending upon where you live. But you should sign up for their email list because if you do that, you'll be notified of sales and different uh, new models, things like that, so that it could help you um, maybe compensate for that extra shipping if you live in a place that's not so convenient to ship to. So please leave me a comment in the comment section below. That is my favorite part of YouTube. It's hearing from you. Please do that. I love responding to your comments. Also, if you have any questions about Sunstar or just the different models here in this video or in previous unboxings that I've had, please leave that in the comment section below. I try to answer every single comment. Or if you have a Sunstar, leave that in the comment section below. What, what make do you have? What model do you have? What do you love about it? Let me know. So I look forward to hearing from you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.